Welcome, Ukraine War Update today. Ukraine sounded alarms across the country on Thursday after Russia launched a wave of missile and drone strikes, officials said. Air sirens were also heard in the country's capital city of Kiev, where missile defense systems successfully struck down 15 targets. There were no immediate reports of injuries. Ukrainian military general Sergei Popko said missiles were fired in the direction of Kiev, but did not disclose if Russia was intending to target government buildings or something else. Kiev Mayor Vitaly Klitschko similarly said explosions were heard in Kiev's Dnipropsky district, on the eastern side of a river that divides the city. Photos from Kiev showed residents huddled in the subway system. The attacks come as Ukrainian military officials are set to be trained to use Western tanks. Germany and the United States announced Wednesday they would send advanced battle tanks to Ukraine and train Ukrainian troops to use them in an effort to help Kiev make breakthroughs in combat stalemates as the Russian invasion nears its one-year mark. The training will start within days, Germany's defense minister said. German Minister of Defense Boris Pistorius said Ukrainian troops will first learn how to operate the German-made Leopard 2 tanks at a training site in Germany by the end of the month. Ukraine's Ministry of Defense took to Twitter Wednesday to celebrate the start of the training. Free at last, the department tweeted with a photo of a leopard, he is coming to Ukraine to do the job, our lands will be liberated. The tanks are expected to arrive in Ukraine before the end of March, Pistorius said. Germany is initially sending 14 Leopard 2 tanks, though it could send as many as 88 tanks to Ukraine. The United States will send more than 30 Abrams M1 tanks, the Pentagon announced. Russia plans to deploy some of its T-14 Armada tanks in Ukraine, but that proposed deployment has encountered problems in recent months, according to the United Kingdom's Ministry of Defense. Russia aspires to move a small number of the T-14 Armadas to Ukraine, but Russian troops were reluctant to accept the first tranche of T-14 allocated to them. Due to the tanks being in poor condition, UK defense officials said in a Wednesday intelligence update. Issues with the T-14 Armadas arose before Russia's invasion of Ukraine began. Some of those issues reportedly involved the tanks' thermal imaging systems and engines. UK defense officials said it was unclear why specifically Russian troops fighting in Ukraine were hesitant to receive the tanks. UK defense officials described the reported tank deployment attempts as countries supporting Ukraine, announced they will begin providing tanks to help Ukraine defend its territory. German and American-made tanks were two of the largest holdouts in the tanks discussion, but both nations' leaders announced plans on Wednesday to provide Ukraine with Abrams tanks from the US and Leopard 2 tanks from Germany. It will likely take a few months for Ukraine to receive the tanks and have troops properly trained on how to use them, US officials said. Ukraine's Ministry of Defense provides estimations on a daily basis of the numbers of Russian soldiers and military equipment that have been lost over the course of the war. As of Wednesday, Ukrainian defense officials say more than 123,000 Russian troops and more than 3,100 tanks have been lost since the war began 11 months ago. Thousands of other Russian armored vehicles and artillery were also allegedly lost, Ukraine said, and hundreds of rocket launch and air defense systems, jets, helicopters and drones were also reported as being lost by Russia in the war effort. The intensity of Ukraine's battle with Russian troops in the Bakhmut and Ugladar territories is increasing, according to Anna Painter, the deputy minister of Ukraine's Ministry of Defense. In a Wednesday Telegram post, Painter described heavy fighting involving a significant number of Russian troops.